guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of interesting video. I look like shit right now because I'm in the process of cleaning my room and I stumbled upon one of the little sample thingies I got a while ago. So I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. This um, product has been out for a while, so you know it's not like it's a new product, but I'm just going to be trying it out. And if my window's opened and you can hear like all the cars driving by, that is why. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. It's a natural beige. It might be a little too dark for me just because I'm pale. I'm always interested about who's driving by, so I'm going to go ahead and take my glasses off and then be blind for like a hot second. I'm using my... Um, Garnier Skin Active, whatchamacallit, moisturizer, foundation, primer thingy, just because my skin is super dry because I've been out of swim season now for a while, for like a week, um, but... And it makes my skin like super red, so you can see that my skin has been like breaking out. Um, but I'm gonna be using my a mix of my beauty blender and my kabuki brush, and I'm only gonna do it on half my face so you can see the like difference. Hey, hey. I can already tell you this is gonna be so dark on my skin. Maybe not. Oh yeah, definitely too dark. So this is what natural beige looks like. As you can see, it's going to be super dark. It's super runny. As you can tell, it's like running down my hand just from holding it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it on my beauty blender and do this side of my face. I can already tell it's going to be so dark on my skin. So. Oh my god. Maybe if I was tan, this would work. I think this is just the shade that they gave you in the, um, in the box. But this is so dark on my skin. Actually, now that it's, like, kind of getting blended in, it doesn't look as bad, but I can, like, tell in person that it's so dark. I don't know if you can tell in person, like, the difference in the color. Actually, no, it doesn't look that bad. You can probably tell, like, a little bit of my chin just because I blended it, like, fully. Ooh. Yikes. But it honestly doesn't look that bad. Alright, so the first things I noticed about this product is just the fact that it is a little too dark for my skin, so... I probably have to go down to um, a much lighter shade, but um, this color would definitely work. Like if I was in the, if it was summertime, because I do get pretty nice and colorful in the summer. But just it's not summer yet, so it's a little too dark. I'm a little bit orange for my liking. Um, it does cover up, it has a pretty nice, I'd say medium to full coverage. Um, I feel like you can definitely see, like, my breakouts less on this side of my face than on this side. It just covers them more. 
so I only have like this orange spot down here that I'm trying to like blend in more but definitely if you keep blending it it doesn't look as bad you can see more of my redness and acne scarring than you can over here um I would probably use a little bit more um, either concealer or this foundation under my eyes just a little bit just because college students tend to have some pretty um, dark under eyes but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back with other things I've noticed and my final review of the camera I think I broke my wrist, so I have to go to the doctor's tomorrow. I brought the camera a little closer. I finished the rest of my face. And as you can tell, like, you can definitely see the line. And just, it doesn't match my skin tone at all. Um, that is just because of the color that I was sent. But other than that, I look like a spray tan gone wrong. So that's pretty funny. Um, but... Other than that, I feel like, so this is the matte and poreless one, and it says it's for skin types, normal to oily, and their texture, they have visible, like, very visible pores. So if you have that kind of face texture, face, whatever you want to call it, um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I feel like it's super lightweight. I usually don't wear... A lot of foundation but I feel like just looking in the mirror I can tell it um, it covered like a good amount of like my acne scarring I have like a couple new ones that just might need like a little bit more concealer but um, it didn't dry my skin out I find that a lot of foundations like really dry my skin out and um, just make my like skin kind of like break and crack and I noticed that this foundation does not do that which I really like um, other than that it's just not my skin type colors so um, I definitely feel like if I was in the summer maybe it would work a little better but um, it's like mid February right now I'm pretty pale um, but other than that I'm gonna wipe this off my hand before I like smear it across something other than that, I feel like this is a really great foundation. Um, I probably would purchase it just in the right color this time. And they have, like, if you can see in the front, they have, this is, like, cut off in half. But they have a good amount of shades. So I probably could find one pretty easily. And they also have um, a powder that goes along with it, too. So um, that is it. For this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had just had this product sitting around and I really needed to use it. Um, but that is it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me video ideas down below. Um, what else? I just threw that away. I need to take a thumbnail. God damn it, Rebecca. Um... But other than that, I give this product a thumb up, thumbs up, and um, I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!